alrighty. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? Ew. Welcome to my get to know me video. Ugh. Did I mess up my nose contour? I asked you guys on Instagram what kind of questions you wanted me to answer, so I'm pretty much just going to go through the comments right now and answer as many as I can. Name one of your favorite beauty gurus. I think Tanya Burr was the first YouTube guru that I started watching, so I love her. I love, love, love Nikki Tutorials. She's so... She's bomb. She is amazing. She's like a, a true artist, and that's what I love about her. She's She really knows makeup, and that's why I love watching her videos, and she's funny as... Who taught you to edit your videos? I use Final Cut Pro, and um, who taught me to edit? Well, when I first started my YouTube channel, um, I sat down and my husband was just like, here's Final Cut, and here's how to cut clips and drag them and put them together, but that was it. He basically taught me like the basic tools to edit, and then I kind of just started Googling and YouTubing and anytime I had questions and he was home I'd ask him to help me figure it out and I kind of just gradually learned that way So I guess my husband taught me but they want to know how we keep such a Happy marriage. I'd say we keep our happy marriage by spending lots of time together uh, just being each other's best friend trusting each other and uh, She makes me sandwiches for lunch Okay, can I go now? <laughs> It's a good recipe for a good marriage. Can you post more of your wedding? If you YouTube uh, Perkins wedding, I'm pretty sure my wedding comes up and I have like a wedding video. It's like a short three minute video. So if you wanna, if you wanna watch it then. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> Why do you guys wanna know? It's, it's, I know I'm not old, but all right, I'm 27. I think my mom even forgot how old I was. My own mother. How tall are you and what's your weight? Jeez. I am 5'6". I'm not really sure, but the last time I weighed myself, I think it was like 115. What is your ethnicity? I am Spanish and Mexican. What's your favorite drugstore liquid liner? That's easy. NYC, that one is the bomb. If you were caught in a fire and could save something, what would it be? If I was caught in a fire, I would save my computers because they have all of my pictures on them. It's like one thing that I couldn't get back. Everything else, I don't really care about. I mean, I'm assuming my husband is already like out the door with me, so if he wasn't, I guess I would save him. Oh, I would save my dogs. So, is there a plane? What the heck? Do you have any siblings? I have three brothers. I have a 31-year-old brother, a 21-year-old brother, and a 20-year-old brother. My brothers are hilarious, and they're my best friends, and they just, they made me tough, you know? What dish can you cook the best? Cereal? Have you thought about trying to pursue a singing career? I love singing as a hobby and for fun, but I don't think, I don't think I'm cut out to be a singer. What was your occupation prior to doing makeup? <laughs> I was a server. <clears throat> Did you get a college degree? Yes. I graduated uh, to be an elementary school teacher because I love kids so much. How did you get over a terrible breakup? I'd cry and then I'd eat and then I'd go out with my friends and remember that I'm fabulous. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. Ugh, it's giving me a headache. I know you're part Mexican. Could you speak a little Spanish for us? Si, sí, soy mexicana. Y que más? No sé qué más decir porque no hablo español tanto. Tea or coffee? I would definitely say coffee. Ew, my armpit looks gross. What is the meaning of your tattoo? Whatever I do in life, as long as I'm creating, I'm happy. And that truly is what makes me happy. I'm doing what I love and so that's what that means. How do you balance your relationship with work and everything else? Well, um, I know some of you guys know it, but a lot of the times my husband helps me with my work, so uh, we work a lot together. And am I having kids? I get this question so much, and when are you guys having babies? This question, I really struggled to figure out whether I'd answer it or not, and at the end of the day, it's a big part of who I am now. Here we go. 
last summer, um, all I wanted was to have a baby. It was just like the one thing on my mind. I love kids so much and um, so my husband and I started trying and um, we got pregnant and it was like the most amazing, exciting thing ever. And of course we told like our whole family and our friends and we were just so excited and um, it turned out that um, I had uh, complications and so we lost uh, the baby and um, it was really <laughs> sorry um, it was hard because I didn't expect it to happen and um, on top of it I um, had to have surgery because they said I had um, a tumor and that I could have like cancerous cells and so um, based on my lab results after the surgery they would see if I needed chemo or not and it was really difficult because not only did we lose the baby but then they said I had to possibly have chemo and then um, course I had to get tested every week for a long time and it sorry it was it was really hard um, and I totally completely stopped Instagramming and um, <laughs> of course I did you know I, I had no passion to do anything it was it was terrible I I was actually just in bed every day because I couldn't handle it. I had posted something on Instagram saying that I was going through a hard time and I didn't want to say what it was because it was so hard for me. Uh, obviously it's still hard for me to talk about but um, I got so many emails from you guys telling me about things that happened in your life and all of these emails changed everything about the way I felt. I got an email from a fan saying that they lost their mom and their sister in the same month and it really broke my heart. And I just, I got so much support from everybody and nobody even knew what was happening. They just knew that I wasn't feeling well and I can't tell you guys how much that changed my life and my journey because after all these emails, I got up, I got out of bed and I was like, I'm just going to continue to do makeup and I'm going to work really hard and I'm going to work every day I got out of this funk. Instantly, like three months later, all of these big things started happening for me because everything happens for a reason. When it's meant to happen, it'll happen. Love you. Love you. Sorry, now that I got all emotional. If you weren't doing makeup, what would you be doing? I think maybe I would try to start my own clothing line and you know maybe I'll still do that now because I love fashion and yeah probably something along those lines. I'm an Ipsy customer and I love their bags. What do you do at Ipsy? So you guys know I make YouTube videos and I have my channel and um, I work for Ipsy as one of their stylists. I also work with Crispy so if you guys don't follow her you should because she is the ish and she's amazing at makeup. She inspires me all the time because she's so good. I'll put her link down below. We help each other film videos. A lot of people say that our videos are similar and I guess that's true because we feed off of each other's energies and we bounce ideas off of each other and um, I don't know, you know when you become really good friends with somebody and you just start to kind of be very similar to them and I think that's what's happening and it's just translating into our videos because we're biffs. I think somebody asked once if we had the same editor. No one edits our videos but us. Zodiac sign, I'm a Pisces. Right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed my get to know me video and that you aren't asleep. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and for your support with all my videos. It means the world to me and um, I'm so blessed and I will never forget it and um, yeah, so Thank you guys for watching once again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye